<laughs> I finally, finally understand the meaning. Hello, everyone. This is Quiversy. If I sound a little bit, uh, a little bit excited, I've hit a bit of a breakthrough with this thing. So, this page, this single doggone page, is probably the single most important page in this entire booklet, because it unlocks everything. Just to give you a little context here, I, the last episode and this one are being recorded in the same day, right? I, I basically have had the entire day off and I wanted to dedicate it to working on tuning. I ended the last recording session at about 3.15 p.m. It is now 7.30 p.m. And somewhere in the that interim is when I hit myself a bit of a breakthrough. Because I had just been pouring over page after page after page to try and figure this out when I realized what it's doing here. Look at the image on the right. It's showing those two symbols that are both comprised of similar parts. And if you look over on the left, you can see that both parts for each exist in this graph. There's like, I think, I, I, yeah, it's like 18 things up on the top and 24 down on the bottom. And after doing a lot of looking, I've come to find out that this is literally breaking down the language and how it works. So, to put a bit of uh, explanation here, the words here are for fox and for sword, and you can tell because that's what's being point what it's pointing to, right? So by that logic, you must have then, you know, fox and sword. Well, fox could make sense because you have three letters right there, but sword only has two letters, which ain't quite right. So what's going on? But then the next thing you need to look at is the two circles in there that are vertically lined up. And you'll notice that the one for Fox is linked, and or is identical rather, to part of the one for Sword. I, long and short, is it's being, it, this is a phonetic language. So, even though Fox doesn't have an S in it, that symbol at the end of Fox is essentially S. It's the S sound. And once I realized that, that's when everything started to click. So, to kind of just break down these specifically, I'm not going to go over all of these because it would take... Like, listen, I, I've been at this for the greater part of four hours. I have notes... I'm going to say this now so I remember to show what I have written and maybe provide a little extra context as well because, good lord, this, this has been fascinating to go through. Um, So, sword here is, is where I want to bring my next point. So, obviously, that first symbol there is for S, but what's that second symbol? Well, that's the or part. That's basically where it, it you know, the, the vowel sound comes in for sword. And that last letter there is the D, that's the D. So basically the way this works is the letters are comprised of either one or two symbols. The top symbols are vowel sounds and the bottom symbols are consonant sounds. And you know, obviously it's not a one-to-one -one match for everything, you know? Like, as far as I can tell, some of these symbols mean multiple things, like, uh, there's, what's a good example here? Uh, there's one on the second from the bottom all the way at the right in the lower one that looks kind of like a windmill. That's basically S and H. That's a shh. That's what that is, I think. Like, I've been using that as an assumption for it, and like 99% of the stuff that I have been able to decode with this, it's made sense. And just to prove I'm not completely full of it, let's see if I can decode 
this, because I haven't actually decoded this. So I'm going to try and do this using my own notes. So I'm just going to read the first line here. Let's see. According to this, it would be... Find... Yep, find... Some... Find some... What's that letter? Find some rare... Sorry. You, you will see my notes when I'm going through this. You'll understand why it's taking me like a minute or two to figure some of this out. Find some rare... What letter is that duck on it? That's... G. Find some rare... Golden... Find some rare golden... S? Okay, there's an S. T. Wait. Sta. Wait. Stow? Stow? That doesn't make sense. Okay, so this is where I, I'm like sometimes have it fall a little bit. Stochus? Oh, statues! Okay, so here's where some of it kind of falls a little bit flat here. That last letter, it's definitely, it says, find some rare golden statues. That's definitely what it says. And, and that is kind of like where the, the trickiness of this comes in. Because the second letter, like the, the word statues here is comprised of four letters that I can see. The first one is just the consonant, S, which, you know, makes sense. The second one, though, is T, and it's using the same vowel that sword uses. But sword, statue, they are not the same. But it's undeniably using the same symbol that was on sword, right? Yeah, it is. Wait. No, it's not. I it, oh my lord that explains so much. All right, so this entire time that I'm going through, I have been under the assumption that sword was using um the top leftmost vowel, but it's not. You go three to the right and down from it, that's the vowel it's using, which makes sense because my notes also say that that's an O sound. Okay, so my notes are completely wrong about the top left one, but that makes it make a lot more sense and honestly fixes almost all the confusion that I've had done up till now. One other thing that I literally just realized that I hit recording, I think I understand this. I think this is referring to the golden statues. I'm pretty sure that those numbers around it is this page tells you how to get which statue. So that's something to keep in mind. But now for the, 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 the real reason that I've been on this lengthy preamble. This stupid thing. So. I'm, you know, hang on a second. Let me actually go back to that uh, thing real quick. That was page 34. I thought I saw 34 in there. Wait, 34 and 34 plus 28? Wait, there's two on 34? What? Hold on, what's 28? Oh, it's the overworld. What? Okay, I'll worry about that part of that puzzle later. Um, that's telling me that this is actually going to also be involved in a... Well, whatever. These... The, the directions, right? I also managed to break down the compass. So, yeah, the compass... Honestly, the, the, the fox, the sword, and compass were major parts that helped me decipher the language. You know what else was really helpful on that? Well, I'm uh, just still kind of on that subject move that actually does say move i was right from the beginning granted it's not a hard thing to figure out but that does help also fun fact one that i kept going back to to make sure i wasn't crazy was x i believe was roll run talk 
Okay, uh, back to this. So, yeah, the it's a little wonky the way it's structured, but it it literally is just saying like the first part of north, south, east, and west. So, the left is like how would that would be done? That's where. All right, where? Damn. How is that vowel pronounced? Not we. Oh, yeah, it's where. It's just where. The north is, of course, na. Or no. Yeah, it's no. It's using the same vowel that sword uses. East. Oh, this was a fun one. And I, I forget what part of the book helped me figure this one out. But there's some letters that have little circles under them. Basically, if you've got a letter that's using both a consonant and a vowel, it goes consonant first, vowel second. But if it's got a little circle under it, you flip it. So in this case, it's got S and it's got the long E sound. So without the circle, it would just say C. But because it does, it's East. And then the last one is uh, Sal. So, Weh. No, east, and sal. So, by this logic, we've got north, west, north, east, south, west, south, east. So, North, west, north, east, south, west, south, east. Northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. That ain't it. By the way, um, yeah, this little symbol here, that means up. Which is funny because it sends you up. Uh hmm. See, now I'm starting to wonder if maybe this is part of the statue and not necessarily the fairy, because I just remember that I knew it's for a fairy, too. Look, I've been... I've been going crazy for the last few hours here, so I'm, I'm sorry that I kind of forget things here. But I am a bit bothered by the fact that there's apparently uh, more things I can do with this stupid weather vane. Hmm. I wonder. Let's try this. North, north, south, south, east, west, east. No. Hmm. Oh, wait, maybe it's just this. Yeah, you know what? Because now that I know that each of those is an individual direction. Okay, so that would make this a 16-digit uh, direction. So we got west, east, south, north. North, south, east, west. North, east, south, west. North, south, east, west. Oh, wait. Two and four are identical. North, south, east, west. So the outliers are west, east, south, north, and north, east, south, west. Okay. West, east, south, north. North, south, east, west. North, east, south, west. North, south, east, west. West, east, south, north. I think I did north, south. West, east, south, north. North, south, east, west. North, east, south, west. North, south, east, west. I feel like I'm onto something. Don't tell me I spend a lot of time for nothing. Come on. It's definitely north, south, east, west. For the two and four. Or, wait. Oh, my lord. I bet that was it, wasn't it? West, east, south, north, north, south, east, west, north, east, south, west, north, south, east, west. No? West, east, south, north, north, West, west, north, east, south, west, south, east, west. Up! <laughs> Very 
me! I have procured the final fairy! I am a cryptographer! <laughs> you know, for as lengthy as it was, I would be lying if I said that I did not find the process extremely enjoyable to decipher that thing. And there's no way on earth I could have possibly, like, done it on video and made it interesting, unfortunately, because I would just... I, I, I kid you not, I was just, like, combing through the book in silence and making sounds with my mouth to try and make things make sense. And the funny thing is, this isn't technically the first time I've done something akin to this, which I think helped a lot. Like, I play... I... I it's been a while since I've been able to, unfortunately, but I've always been a, a huge, avid player of D&D. I think I'm going the wrong way. I wanted to go back to the grotto. Um, but the reason I bring that up is because I had one session, or one campaign going, rather, where I actually created my own language in that. And funny enough, it also was kind of similar to this one, both in its overall style and the fact that phonetics were very important. Although I think mine was needlessly complicated, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'll see if I can provide an example for you as well, because I... I, I I actually had to look through some of my notes on that to help me kind of figure out how to figure this out. And, oh boy. Some crazy stuff. Anyways, what is my prize for getting the 20th fairy? A golden flower statue. Hey, what, what does this actually say? I can actually read this now. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, I believe that is... Uh, con? Oh, okay. No, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> One other little thing I kind of omitted uh, to mention. The line in the middle, from what I can tell, is meant to indicate, you know, the length of the word. So if there's a break in there, then there's multiple words. But if it's a solid line like this, it's a single word. So maybe it says congratulations. Let me see if that fits. Con. Is that, that's a G, right? That's a G. Oh, oh the, it's not a G, but it's a J. But wait, no, that wouldn't be right. It has to be G? Wait. I keep getting my Fs and my Gs mixed up, but that's not right. That is a... Is that a J? No, it's not a J. Hang on, what letter is that? I don't see a match for this. Okay, well, let's try working backwards. The last letter there is the Z sound. Following an N, so it could still be like a congratulations. In fact, that really thin one in the middle there, that's an L with an A sound, so... And that's... Yeah, that's uh, an SH sound, that's the windmill there. Congratulations. It has to be spelling congratulations. Because that makes everything else fit. But I can't figure out what that one letter is. The one after the first N. It doesn't look right. Oh, wait. I think I might see what I'm doing wrong. Uh, okay, that's why there's a little bit of a gap there. Okay. No, that is a G. That is a G. I was breaking it down wrong. con g ra j u -a -t. Okay, yeah, I see it now. I see it now. Congratulations! Yay, fairies! They have given us a golden flower. Okay, well... Ugh, doggone it. Now that I've figured this out, though... 
I need to verify my theory about the treasure room. So excuse me while I go to the treasure room and see what's what. Thankfully, it's very close by. Hi, this wasn't here before. What's... Why is this? Where is this? What? What is this place? I have no idea what that is. But, okay. So let's go by piece by piece. We've gotten... If we were to use... Uh, let me get to the... Let me get to the screen. Okay. Page 28 points to Mr. Mayor. Page 28 is... Overworld map. Mr. Mayor, I don't remember exactly where he was, but he was somewhere on the overworld in a cave somewhere. You know what? I think he was in there. You see where the line is? Remember how in there there was like that mural on the wall? I think that's where he was. I think that was where we got him. So that tracks. Okay. Okay. And then the third one is page 53. That's this. And that's this guy, I think? It might have been the windmill, but I think it might have been the other guy. No, I know it was the windmill, because I'm looking at the shape now. Okay, so I think I think that's proof positive. Let's do one more to seal the deal. 51 and 1. Is after that, uh, 39? Yeah, 39 is the skull. Oh, and 53 is the crown, so... Whichever one of those wasn't the shapes is the crown, so yeah, even, even more confirmation. And 39 is gonna be the swamp, right? Sure enough. Okay. So let's, uh... Let's take a look at page 40 and page 51. Okay, so there's something in the cathedral. Probably something to do with that, the circle. And the other one was page 51. Oh yeah, kind of forgot. One other thing I did translate as well before, parry time up. In other words, I was right about what that badge card does. But this, I did not translate this. And I think this is the clue it's trying to cue me in on. So let's see what this says. Give me a minute to do some translate. Okay, apparently this says, did you retain the letter from us? Immerse it in water for 60 seconds to, uh, immerse it in water for 60 seconds to see a a secret message. Letter? Maybe it's... Okay, so it's page 51 and page 1, right? Oh, I haven't found page 1! Oh, no. So I'm gonna need page one to figure out the rest of that puzzle. Uh, okay, so I, I need I need to find another page. Got it. I need to go to the cathedral. What else we got? Um, page 11? Wait, was this one page 11? Or five. No, that one's the 2834. Okay, so that 
That one, I think I need to figure out something else with the... All right, let's just go to page 11. What's page 11? Because I know I don't have that one. Okay. Uh... So yeah, this, this message I did kind of, I did translate. I forget exactly what it says, but it does basically say you'll take more damage um, if you're low on stamina, which is what the fox child says. But where is the clue? Is it? Wait. Where is this? Oh boy. All right, I got an idea about that one and I'm gonna just... I'm gonna figure it out. I'm, I think I wanna go this way though. Wait. Not that way. Where was the path back through? house I'll get through house this way this way All right. I think it's here look at this this is definitely the same place in page 11 but we don't have a treasure chest okay I think I see what we're doing here look at the dots there we got a big dot in the top left corner. I think we're gonna be doing another sequence. So it's gonna be right, down, left, up, left, left, down, right, right, down, down. Let's try this, let's try this. Right, down, left, up, left, left, down, right, right, down, down. Right, down, left, up, left, left, down, right, right, down, down. Right, down, left, up, left, left, right, down, down, down. No? Oh, yeah, I think I missed a right. Right, down, left, up. Left, left, down, right. Right, down, down. I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering this one. Right, down, left, up. Left, left, down, right, right, down. Right, down, left, up. Left, left, down, right, right, down, down. Down, left, up. La, 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 la. Right, down, left, up, left, left, down, right, right, down, down. Boom. Oh, don't dodge it, you silly little fox creature. Team Biscuits, back to work. Beautiful. Wait a minute. Uh, no, nope, no, nope, too far, too far. Those things are also dot patterns. All right, I'm gonna try that ice bomb one. So let's see here. Left, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, left. Okay, I think this will be easier to remember. It's left, down, then it's right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up. Right up, right down, right down, right down, right up. So three ups, two downs, and then a left. So it's Left, down. Right up, right down, right down, right down, right up, left. Here we go. Left, down, right up, right down, right up, right down, right up, left. Free bomb! Can I do it again? Left, down, right up, right down, right up, right down, right up, left. Service says no. Okay, let's try the firebomb one. Left, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, left. Interesting, it's basically the same. But like mirrored, which is fitting because it's a firebomb. Left, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, left. Firebomb! Very nice. And I would do the regular bomb one. <sighs> Maybe something happens if I do all of them. 
down, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, down, left, down, right. That one's the hardest one to remember. Down, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, down, left, down, right. So it's down and up, up, left, twice, down, twice. Down, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, down, right, down, left. Down, right. Oh, wait. Down, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, down, left, down, right. I did that. And nothing special seems to have happened. Okay. Uh. Here's the thing, though. Some of them, I was, one of them was specifically for page 28. And that implies to me that there's something we can do in the ruined at all. But we can't go there right now. Although. Hmm. Okay, see, now I'm getting an idea. I gotta try it now. I was originally thinking I wanted to go to the cathedral next, but the frog's domain. The entrance to it is like a big head. And that's not the only big head we've seen. It's finally time to see what's in this place. I'm wondering if this'll... There's been a page here. No, no. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Page 22. The door in the mountains. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read that in a minute. The hero's grave. The holy cross. Bed. Oh, okay. It's telling me the secrets of that room and telling me how to get to the trophy room that I found by accident. 22 out of 22? And the fairy fountain. What is on the back page? Oh, look at this! Door in the mountains. This is telling you where you get all your pieces of your soul back. Okay, so what does this say? I feel like this is an important piece that needs to be translated. Do you know the secret way? Go to the door in the mountains and check behind it. Oh, that's just telling you how to get back to the quarry. The secret shortcut at the door in the mountains. Right. I already figured that out. All right, well, what about this page about the door in the mountains? Because I still haven't figured out the true mystery behind it. Let's see what this says. Okay, so there's there's actually a letter here that I hadn't managed to fully decipher yet. Mainly because I couldn't find any in the doggone book. But it says, what's up with the door in the mountains? All the clues you seek are here in these pages. In other words, the book holds the secret to open the door. In other news, water is wet and grass is green. Figured, figured that was going to be obvious. Hmm. Might want to decipher this one too. I can't. Oh, I, I do want to know what this says. I, at the very least, what does the gold text say? Okay, so the text says the golden path. So, what is the I, okay? No, I need I need to start this here thing. What? What is the secret? What is the secret of the golden path? Look. Look 
to the... Look to the stars. What is the secret of the golden path? Look to the stars and page 49. Or, and to page 49, rather. Look to the stars. The golden path. Wait, so the left says the golden path. But what does the right say? That says the uh, the gray the greatest. Spell. The greatest spell? Wait. If I were to count the back of the book as page 55, this could be alluding to page numbers on this. What's page 12? That's the controls, right? Yeah. So if I'm to believe those are page numbers, then that means the secret of that page starts there. And I still think that this is, um, wait a second, 16, 9, 39. Man, I thought I had something there. So, let, let me explain my thought process on that one. If I assume these are page numbers, I think that this is going to teach us a new um, pattern. But, in order to do that, we would need to start somewhere and move to other places. We would need to know the path. By that logic, I was thinking maybe if we're starting at 12, because we're starting at the bottom, then we need to go to one of its adjacent partners. Although that isn't necessarily how it works. But like, I was waiting, I went to that page to see if uh, there was any kind of connection I could make based on like it guiding me to other pages. So maybe I need to find out which of the five in the middle I'm supposed to actually start at, and then each page should guide me to the next, teaching me the pattern. That is my theory. Though, now I need to check something else. Uh, like, am I missing any other pages? One, two, three. Okay, no, I thought I missed one there. Besides pages one and two, do I have access to everything else in this book? Looks like it. Where on earth? Earth is page one and two. <sighs> I guess I'm going to go to the cathedral now.